Hello Leos, thank you for waiting for this reading. This is for June of 2016. Before I get started, I wanted to let you know if you're interested in one of my private readings, please email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. I do intuitive tarot video readings, and I also do past life readings. If you would like to read more about any of those, you can visit my site, soulsintersect.weebly.com. I also put together a healing and meditation video, and I'm posting the link to that in the description to this reading. I invite you to check that out if it sounds interesting to you. Okay, so I pulled four cards for you for this month. Uh, this is from the Sharman Caselli deck. And uh, the fifth card is from the bottom of the deck. So as a general overview, I'm definitely feeling like this is a very positive month for you. The tower in this reading is coming across as definitely something sudden, but not destructive, um, except that, you know, destruct destructive can also be breaking down something old, but in this case it feels like whatever that is, is putting something negative behind you and bringing in a positive change. Um, I'm getting kind of a balanced mix of what it, um, a balanced mix of what it could be in relation to both relationship and and work and a little bit of uh, of family coming in so I'll do a few different interpretations but generally speaking it feels like there may have been some waiting and uh, waiting for something but waiting for something that was meant to be and it feels like for some of you this month will be the time that that will come to fruition or that the initial seeds of it will be planted um, so it's possible that there will still be a bit of, of waiting for some of you, but it does feel like things are coming into play, um, things are coming together more, and that you'll at least see some signs that something that you've been working towards or waiting for comes um, is beginning to develop or come to fruition. And then I also see that for a lot of you, this is this is relating to uh, coming together with with someone. And that's going to be romantic for some of you, definitely, with the Two of Cups. And with the star there, too, it really does feel like a faded um, meeting of someone. And so possibly a, a soulmate. Um, so it could also be something karmic as well. Um, those cards aren't coming up, but even those are, are faded and, and definitely meant to happen. So it could be for some of you. But I, I definitely am picking up that some of you are... Um, going to see a coming together with someone who it, you're romantically involved with or want to be and that uh, there will at least be signs but possibly that, that coming to fruition this month and it's interesting in this two of cups depiction I'm seeing that that winged lion but um, I'm thinking of you guys Leo and I really I feel like this could possibly also be another Leo um, if you are a Leo, so it could be a coming, coming together with a Leo, um, or remember to take into consideration ascendance as well and moon signs, but I'm getting some water sign energy too. I'm picking that up from the, the water and, uh, the star and the tower, and then just the two of cups being the water element. So I'm getting that too. It's interesting. We don't have any court cards here. Um, so I'm getting some messages about what sign the person could be because it's something that comes into play in almost every reading and a lot of viewers now are, are conditioned to notice the, the elements, which is great. Um, okay, so yeah, it's, it's, I'm feeling mostly water and um, fire signs here, um, but we do have the Six of Pentacles as well um, as an earth element. But so what I'm getting from that mostly is that I, I feel like there's some marriages coming coming up this this month um, or in the next few weeks, possibly this summer. I feel like there's a putting together of finances. Um, the star also has sort of a unity um, feel to it um, because there's kind of that the earth side and the water side. You see it more in some depictions, um, but 
it feels like a coming together of, of those two sides. And, and then of course the two of cups as a coming together. So with the tower there, I'm, I'm getting, um, for a few of you that that could also be a splitting apart. So a divorce, some of you may be facing that, but I do f <clears throat> still feel some positive energy around that with the, of course, it's a trying difficult thing emotionally and the turbulent waters are really standing out to me there, but something that will be a solace it feels like is the six of pentacles is a balancing of finances in that case and the six of wands it feels like in terms of that financial aspect of it that could be something that could at least bring you some solace if you're someone who's going through a divorce because i'm seeing victory i'm seeing an, an even balance of um finances and that doesn't mean you'll get an even amount i just feel like it will be it will be a balanced amount for you it feels like it definitely feels like a sense of victory at least in that case and it does feel like for those of you experiencing the divorce element um, or splitting up but it's definitely one that involves finances so it could it could also be um, a breaking down of a business like a dissolution of a business um, I'm not you know I'm not seeing too much um, though we have the tower next to the two of cups I really do feel a lot of positivism in this reading so it seems like it's something that though I'm sure it doesn't feel great. Um, it feels like it's been long awaited and that because of that, you're, you're kind of past a lot of the, the heartbreak part of it and you're just really wanting to move on and move past it. And it feels like that's coming up for you. Um, and it, it may not be in June, but definitely this, this summer, like by the end of the summer, it feels like, and I do feel a new beginning for some of you in relation to that. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm being drawn to discuss any possible family issues. Um, there, there may also be a divorce you're witnessing. So um, parents, like I'm getting for somebody that older parents, so an adult child is seeing her parents getting divorced and it's really shocking to them. So again, it, it, it seems like it's upsetting. It's not you directly for some of you, so, so I'm not getting the intense intense heartbreak but you're still shocked you were definitely shocked and now you feel that you're having to balance your time between the two and, and figure out um how, how it's going to be so different like it, it feels like it's going to be so different with holidays and um communication and and you feel a little bit like you might be spreading yourself thin it almost seems like um more of an inconvenience to you than anything not not saying that you're being cold about it but it's just there was a shock and then just some confusion and it feels like um, just, yeah, frustration, just kind of annoyance with the whole thing. But I do feel like in that case, uh, it could also be friends that you're witnessing going through a divorce. And I feel like in that case, I'm getting that sense of victory as well and the star. And it feels like this was meant to happen and you're going to learn something new from this. And they are as well. But this is for you and it feels like it feels like there could also be other leos involved there parents like a leo parent or the friends splitting up maybe another leo but it's going to teach you something new about the how strong these relationships were um if it's parents you may strengthen your individual relationships with them and um right now it's unsettling a bit but i think that it's going to actually you're actually going to see um the silver lining with that Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not getting anything in terms of work like those of you working for anyone. I'm. It was mainly. It feels like that that dissolution of a business. Um, but again, with that one, it also feels very much like something that was long awaited, and it's it's been happening. You're just kind of waiting for the final stages to um, for closure. Like so. So some of the loose ends to be tied up and you're really looking forward to moving on and, and starting something new. Let me see what else I pick up here. Okay. So it also feels to me like with the, with the tower and the six of pentacles, I'm getting, um, some, some financial upset. So this is going to be for some other other uh, viewers it feels like 
uh, something along the lines of, um, this is pretty specific, but it feels like so because of two other people coming together, um, that, and I'm, I'm feeling a birth as well. Okay, so some financial upset possibly around, um, wow, this is really specific, but finding out that someone has a child um, is a message I'm hearing, and this is either someone you're in union with or want to be, and you didn't know they had a child or they didn't, or you're already with them, like someone's already married maybe and found out about a child, and it, it does feel like it's a minor. It feels like someone in need of, of finance, so there's some financial upset around that, and you're being encouraged. If this is you, and it's someone that you, if it's someone that you love who you're with, and you've discovered that there's a child coming into play that either you didn't know about or neither of you knew about, I'm going to encourage you to um, try to rise above, I mean, definitely have your discussions that you need to about anything financial, or, or it could just be practical stuff, like now with planning and scheduling and things. Um, to have the discussions that you need to, I'm, I'm seeing you coming together and having a heart to heart about it, but you're also being encouraged to really rise above and, um, and to explore your, your connection with the child. If you're, if it's someone that you're being, um, that you're actually going to meet and spend time with, that, 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 that also could be a victory in a sense. Um, it's, it's actually, I'm hearing that it's actually a positive thing coming in for you. And it's a little bit upsetting right now, and that's completely understandable, but I definitely feel like there's going to be something to learn and to be gained from this for both of you, especially the, the one, whoever I'm speaking to, where neither of you knew about this. Um, could also be a friend, like a, a friend finding out, um, about a child or a child coming back into their life in some way, something along those lines, and you, I see you helping them with some of that organizing, could be financial, but could be more like babysitting or something like that. And again, spend time with the child, um, allow, allow that to, to become some part of your relationship or friendship together. It feels like it's, it's something really important and positive. And I'm seeing the horse in the Six of Wands. Um, I feel like there is something with horses doing that together. A child liking the horse. Um, I'm seeing some pastures and some horse riding. So that's standing out to me too. Something and horses, of course, are really, uh, are very spiritual in nature as are all animals, but there's something very calm and peaceful about them. And I feel like that could be really healing for some of you, possibly in, in, uh, for those of you where this, the child, the story of the child is not in relation to you, but there's some relationship stuff going on or something like that. I'm, I'm really seeing horses and healing around that. So I'd be interested to hear if that speaks to anyone directly. And the final message I'm getting is about a house. Um, this is probably in relation to someone divorcing or, um, possibly people marrying, but it feels more like in terms of a divorce, um, holding on like a, I'm, I'm getting a sense of holding on to the house. I'm just picking this up from, from the tower for some reason, uh, a really strong attachment to the home. And I am hearing the message that you need to let go of that, or you're being encouraged to let go of that. I can't tell you what to do, of course, but that was a pretty strong voice saying, um, to, do your best to detach and to put that behind you, that, that the house, there's going to be something better for you. Um, something about not wanting to be around the energy of that house. If any of you are leaving behind a house or having trouble leaving behind a house or home or possibly a location. Okay. And before I'm, before I finish, I'm, I'm feeling again, I'm, I'm kind of being back. <laughs> Ooh, lots of messages coming in. I'm being, um, shown again, the, the really purely positive nature of this, that for some of you, I do feel coming together with someone and it really does. I, I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling some soulmate energy and it doesn't have to be romantic. It could also be you meeting someone who is just that you're absolutely going to love connecting with. And it's, it's going to be a really bright spot in your life. I feel like this could apply to any of you, any interpretation, because it could be a friendship too. Um, it could be that child where it's, it's really a faded 
connection could be romantic and it could again be a friendship and possibly a new business partner so a new business endeavor um, so someone you're coming together with in that sense okay Leo's um, some some great readings some great uh, interpretations for this month I really got a lot of messages coming through I'd love to hear from some of you guys for a private reading um, and again the email address is soulsintersect at gmail.com thank you Thank you.